Hi, and welcome to this Joomla 3 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to optimize single product pages like this one for search engines. There are a lot of other things you can do to optimize virtue mark for search engines by optimizing the category pages, by using the manufacturer functionality, and in particular by configuring the search engine friendly URL functionality correctly. This particular tutorial is focused on how to optimize single products for people that add products from time to time themselves and don't want to pay a third party to optimize all those pages. So let's get right into it. In your Joomla configuration, navigate to your product screen within Virtumart. Within there, find the product that you want to optimize and open up its editing screen. This is where we're going to do all the things to optimize this product. Firstly, I'm going to rename this product because although it says jumper, it looks more like a hoodie. So I'm going to call it a plain hoodie and I'm going to optimize the whole thing with phrases around that. Now, it's also a good idea to pay a professional to do full research on the optimization keywords that you should be using across your site. But for things like this, if it's your business and you know your business, you'll probably have a good idea of the different ways of calling the same product in any case. So I'm calling this a plain hoodie, and over here, what it typically does if, um, if this was a new product and this was empty, is lowercase the product name, replace all the spaces with dashes, and if I save this, it'll show you that. So this product alias is part of the URL that's used on the front end. Now if I go to the product on the front end, navigate to it by going back through the links here. Clothing, plain hoodie. You'll notice that the pattern of the URL follows the category name and then the product name followed by a little ending that's configured elsewhere in the system. So typically this will take the product name and do as I said, lowercase everything, replace any spaces with dashes. But this is a very good place to edit the product alias to add um, alternate spellings for the product or other search terms. So in this case, I'm also going to spell hoodie with the alternate spelling. If there are other search phrases that are of use, you can add those in there. The next tab is the product description. This is a good place to add um, text as you would in terms of optimizing an article, explaining what the product is, what it does, what the advantages are. If there's a lot of text to be added in here, it's useful to add in headings. In those headings, if you can work key phrases in there as well, that's quite useful for search optimization. These two tabs have no real use in optimization, so we'll skip past those. The next little trick is product images. The alternative text here is the text that comes up when you mouse over an image. This particular one has none configured, so it's a good place to put your search phrase as well. Now I'll save that and reload the front end and you can see the optimizations. So navigating back to the product page, when I mouse over the image we now see the search phrase that I entered. The product name just looks like normal. You don't have to go crazy with putting in search phrases in there. Make it look normal. And up here in the URL, we get to see the search phrase has also been added in there. So aside from those places, the normal kind of optimizations you can do 
is in the product description. So that's it, that alternative text and getting the SEF URL nicely configured with a search phrase are two of the really, really valuable things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis when you're adding products to your Virtual Mark 3 install. Thanks for listening.